Coming to the ninth ranked Kentucky women looking to bounce back from a home loss to number two South Carolina. But this game, uh, not just a bounce back game on Sunday, it's also a chance for re revenge. Besides the loss to SC last week, the other loss on the season for the Cats was at Auburn. The Tigers in Lexington on Sunday. First half, Taylor Murray. She puts a halt to an 8-0 run by Auburn with a quarter pocket triple. And we're tied up. Big game for Murray, by the way. Wildcats had 10 steals. There's one. Murray converts it into points. Career high 14 for the freshman. Let's transition from the young to the old. Michaela Epps, the senior with the floater. And let's check back in with Murray. And they only hit three of their 17 three-point attempts, but there's a good one right there. Now it's Epps. She goes baseline. Floater. And then later, Janae Thompson drives same baseline and kicks it out to Epps. 13 points for Michaela, four point lead for Kentucky. A season low though for the Wildcats, 54 points, but Kentucky gets the win by seven. Next game at Ole Miss Thursday. Now to high school, Cordy has one chance to win a state championship. will begin later this month in Frankfurt. The Lions win the 14th region all a championship after sitting out last year due to KHSAA sanctions. Cordia gave June Buchanan a chance Saturday night. Just eight seconds left. Kareem McDonald, he missed his both free throws, I should say. Cordia uh, was up just by two points, but Steven Silvers could not get a shot off at the other end, and the Lots Creek community can breathe. The 50 to 48 win means the world to the program. We had to keep the kids together. Uh, we had a lot of people uh, from the exterior trying to pull out our kids, telling them we're never going to play again. And the kids just believed in me, Cordia, and what we were doing. And we stuck together. And we always preach family. And we preach family, and they believed in what we were doing. Scary moment in Saturday night's Packers Cardinals game, playoff game. Former Kentucky Wildcat Randall Cobb made a great grab thrown by quarterback Aaron Rodgers. But after the 49 yard leaping catch, Cobb got up. He started coughing blood. He suffered a chest injury that sent him to the hospital in Phoenix. He stayed overnight, but Cobb tweeted Sunday saying he was released and is feeling much better. The Packers were eliminated by the Cardinals in overtime. So the Cards win and the Patriots also win. Two of the final four spots filled Saturday. Question is, who will the Patriots play in the AFC Championship game and who will the Cardinals play in the NFC Championship game? Let's find out Sunday's action. Cam Newton and Panthers taking on the Seattle Seahawks at home. NFC Divisional Round. First quarter, no score. First and goal, Jonathan Stewart. He puts the Panthers up 7-0. And of course, these two met last year in the postseason with Seattle eliminating Carolina. Later in the quarter, Wilson avoids the pressure in the sack, but does not avoid a bad pass. Luke Keekley with the pick six. 14-0 in the first five minutes of the game. Second quarter, Stewart wingspan. Second rushing touchdown of the day, 21-0 Carolina. Same quarter, Newton to Greg Olson. Oh, my goodness. Carolina all over Seattle, 19-yard touchdown. Carolina up 31-0 at the break. Second half, don't count out Wilson. Here he comes, and here comes Tyler Lockett. Brings it in for the touchdown, 31-14. Fourth quarter, still not done. Wilson scrambling. Wilson throwing. End zone. Touchdown, Jermaine Curse. All of a sudden, we got a football game. Steven Hauschka, he later tacks on a field goal to make it 31-24. So, Seattle within a touchdown. But Hauschka comes on out, onside kick. They need it because they only got one timeout left, and they don't get it. Panthers' Thomas Davis, he recovers it. Panthers hold off the Seahawks to advance to the NFC Championship game. First time since 2005. AFC Divisional Playoffs, Broncos hosting the Steelers. Winner plays the Patriots in the AFC title game. Peyton Manning making his first start since week 10. Straight to the third quarter. Pittsburgh leads by a point, 10-9. Ben Roethlisberger stepping up, throwing to Martavis Bryant. And here he goes. Down inside the 30, that sets up a field goal to make the score 13-9. Bryant with nine catches for a buck 54 in the day. Fourth quarter, Fitzgerald, Toussaint, Oh my goodness, just hold on to the football, but he can't. Denver, they capitalize. C.J. Anderson punches it in from a yard out. And then they go for two, and Peyton Manning, quick hitter to Demarius Thomas. 20 to 13, Denver. 
They later tack on a field goal, make it 23-13. Then the Steers kick the field goal, make it 23-16. So they need an onside kick recovery just like Seattle, and they don't get it. So we got Manning versus Brady, Chapter 17 for the AFC Championship next week. Broncos defeat the Steelers 23-16 in Denver, which will host next week's conference title game. So here it is. Four teams remain the AFC Championship game right here on WIMT this coming Sunday. Matches um, up the Broncos and the Patriots. 3.05 kick time at the trip to Super Bowl 50 on the line. And then at 6.40 on Fox, it's the NFC Championship game. Cardinals go to Carolina to take on the Panthers. It'll be the first time in the Super Bowl era Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks will face off in the playoff game with Carson Palmer of the Cards and Cam Newton of the Panthers. That's final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.